Hey, if Green Ranger can summon a giant robot by blowing into a knife, then, then so can I. <sighs> you know, this is actually kind of a terrible idea. This, this blade is pretty sharp. No wonder Green Ranger wears a helmet. Well, hello there, fellow members and names, Theodore, Theodore Tusk. And today I'm unboxing this Legacy Edition Dragon Zord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, specifically the 2017 re-release. So before you use your dagger as a musical instrument to summon a giant Dragon Zord, and and by the way, how does the Green Ranger blow into that dagger with his helmet on anyway? It makes no sense, but then again, neither does a flute dagger that sounds like a trumpet. Anyway, don't forget to stick around to the very end to find out how you can win a free three-month subscription to Loot Crate. And here he is, Dragon Zord, standing proudly in close to 10 inches tall. Compared to the original from long ago, this version of Dragon Zord is like an extreme upgrade. He features a combination of plastic and die-cast parts. Specifically, his circular chest piece, his arm plates, and his feet. Next, instead of stickers, all of the designs you see here are actually sculpted into the figure. The tail is much longer too and far more flexible with joints that pop in and out. And he's also much truer to the show in like so many ways. Like we have the green ranger emblem on the sides instead of a red M. And instead of thunderbolts on the chest area, his arms or his feet, we have more accurate designs. Best of all, no more alarm clock because his chest doesn't light up here and frantically beep like the world's going to end. Oh, and you cannot forget his mouth which easily opens and closes. You don't have to worry about it hanging open for all eternity anymore. Next, we have two pairs of interchangeable hands. What you see now is a more curved and natural look, but you can also swap in the more iconic and original hands too. Here, the fingers are just outstretched and ready to fire something. Preferably they'll fire something that can eat though instead of bullets. Last, if you have Megazord, then you have the option of combining it together with Dragonzord. Starting with just the Mastodon, Triceratops, and Sabretooth, you can combine these four to make Dragonzord battle mode. Oh my, look at him wield that, that power staff, it's just so it's taller than he is. Speaking of his power staff, an additional part is included to act as what looks to be the hilt of the weapon. Now, the only complaint about this form are these joints just sticking out at his knees. They should be tucked in a bit closer if they want to remain true to the show. And of course, to make Mega Dragon Zord, you need only combine all of the different pieces together into one. Oh, looks great, doesn't it? Only issue is it's pretty heavy and topples over quite easily because of all the diecast parts. Also, be careful when attaching Dragonzord to Megazord's head. It is like super easy to damage the paint. Overall, excellent quality, much more show accurate compared to the original toys, and I Definitely recommend him to any hardcore fans. He was designed for you. Well, fellow Malice, thanks for watching. For our chance at winning this week's free three month subscription to Loot Crate, who's your favorite Power Rangers villain and why? I pick Lord Zed because he's brave enough to try and conquer the world half naked, which makes me doubly brave because I'm 100% naked. The hat, uh, the hat up there doesn't, it don't count. It's just a freeloader, just up there for the ride. And oh, it also hides my baldness. Cause I'm bald. I got no hair up there, but I got a full stash. It's kind of odd, but it's the way it is. Ain't that right, Megazord? Uh, Dragonzord?